Most times in many homes in Nigeria, a lot of families cook with charcoal, firewood, or kerosene. According to statistics, 30 million households in Nigeria use this biomass to cook. And this causes a lot of indoor air pollution that leads to heart diseases, chronic lung cancer, and for women who are pregnant, cooking during the time of their pregnancy period, they suffer miscarriages and they give birth to sudden infant death babies. For babies who are born below the age of five, they suffer pneumonia as a, a cause of indoor air pollution. According to WHO, they said 100,000 Nigerians die every year as a result of this act. Secondly, statistics from USA said 20 million Nigerian households live without access to electricity. But I want to tell you here that we have come up with two solutions to solve this problem. One is a clean cook stove that is affordable, is smokeless, it cooks five times faster than any traditional stove, and it also self-generates 50 watts of electricity. This electricity can be used to charge mobile phones, to, power, to charge mobile power banks, and also your televisions and radio sets. Secondly, we came up with a product we call Good Life Biomass Pellet. Now, this pellet, we process it from waste, agricultural waste, household waste, commercial waste, and it's 80% cheaper than charcoal. So users save money using our product. And also, it burns without smoke, so we are removing indoor air pollution. And finally, our product cooks twice faster than any traditional combustible stove. Now, how does it work? What you are seeing here is a live product. Um, it's called power stove, and this is the pellet. You use the pellet and put it in the combustion chamber and you start the fire. Now, within two minutes, you can start cooking your food and start generating electricity. What we are doing is we have a proprietary circuit inbuilt that converts the excess heat while you cook to be able to generate electricity. So in your kitchen, you can be generating electricity from your home. Since we've launched, we've been able to understand that 30 million households in Nigeria, if we are taking a conservative price of $5 per month, that is $150 million monthly revenue. And our target is to get 0.5% of this in the next 12 months. We are using two strategies. We are working with existing cooperative societies, MFIs, and also we are using the local cooking fuel vendors, the informal market, the women selling kerosene, firewood, or charcoal. We are not distorting their market. We are giving them a better solution they can sell at a better price margin. Our revenue model is simple. We sell our products to these our target markets, and also we provide after-sales support services. In that way, we ensure that our 12 months guarantee we can also be able to provide support in case anything goes bad. Our traction, since we've launched in the last six months, we've signed up four cooperative societies. We have 150 local cooking fuel vendors who are selling our pellets, and we've sold 1,000 stoves in the market. We're growing 8% monthly. We've achieved $80,000 revenue, and we have 60% margin. In the next 12 months, we want to launch in the market in Lagos State. In Nigeria, there are only two types of market, Lagos State and others. So we want to join the Lagos State to be able to take first movers advantage, to gain 3,000 customers in the next six months, get our carbon certification in the third quarter, and also start exporting to East Africa. Our competition is quite simple. We have the local charcoal stove and the firewood stove, but we also have the upper level competitors who are the kerosene stove and the more efficient stoves that come from Kenya. But our stove is cheaper at $52 compared to $70. And also our pellet saves $3 every week as compared to $9 and $5. So we are the only one that generates electricity within our competitive space. My, our team is myself. I'm a physics electronics graduate. I have 15 years experience in SME. Uh, we have another electrical engineer in our team. All our products are produced in our, in our factory in Abuja, and we have Gloria who is in charge of finance and marketing. 
who have been fortunate to have Tommy Davis as one of our advisors, who is Nigeria's fin finest venture capitalist, and Stephen Ozobu. Stephen Ozobu is helping us to scale up our businesses because he's also doing the same with the hostel in South Sudan. What are we asking? We are here to win the $10,000 prize. And what can you help us to do? It will help us to establish our market in Lagos, employ 2,000 people directly, both the women selling the stove and those that will provide after-sales support services. And we also want to buy a pellet machine which can allow us to provide this alternative cooking fuel to Lagos household. Our, our plan is within the year of 2019, we will generate $105,000 in revenue. Finally, I want to leave you with this simple quote. We believe in power stove that food is life. No woman should be able to have miscarriage because she's preparing meal for her family. No child should be able to die of pneumonia because she's staying with her mother in the kitchen. And clean cook solution like power stove is the solution to health. Thank you. That was a very good presentation, so we're all done. Thank you, sir. So my question is, what do you think is the biggest challenge for that will prevent your business to scale? It's finance. It's, why did I say so? Because we've been able to factor a way around our technology that we can build locally. We've identified our market, and they are willing to pay. And we also have a strategy that gives us um, a low margin in acquiring a customer. So what we just need finance to scale. Have you raised money? Yes. How much? Um, we've raised a um, total of $50,000. We, we've been able to use it to build our factory. That's the traction we got in 2018. Mm -hmm. So we have our factories and machines ready. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hi, um, I'm more curious around um, your pricing, and um, so you say this cost fifty-two dollars, right? Yes, sir. Um, so in Naira, that's eighteen thousand seven twenty. Yes. Right, and the market you're going after are people that can spend five dollar a month or a day. What well, you said something about five dollars. Okay. So my question is, how are they able to afford this, and how is this comparatively better than pump gas? Pump gas costs about six, seven thousand. Those small gas, right? Okay. Um, and it's faster. I don't have to wait for two minutes for it to start cooking. And it's way cheaper. So how is this better than that? And how is your target market able to afford 18720 Okay. Um, thank you, sir. When we started, our target market was the rural families, which we believe that we need to assist. We sold a thousand stove, 80% of them in the urban cities. But the 20% that bought from the urban, uh, the rural homes, bought it through their cooperatives. So our model is, we sell to the cooperatives. They have the finance to buy at a bulk purchase, and they offer it as asset-based loans to their members. So their members pay over three months or six months. And why they pay? Because they use our pellet. They save 80% 80, 80 of the cost of charcoal. So if a charcoal they use for a family of four costs 200 naira per day, they, if they use our pellet, they are going to pay less than 50 naira to do the same thing. So why they use our product to repay their debts through their cooperatives, they also save money from the poor. So in that way, we will see people scale our purchases. How is this better than cab gas then? Okay, um, how is better than cab gas? In the last 24 months, we've seen cost of a kilo of gas increase. Some sell at 400, some sell at 500 a kilo of gas. But our one is a kilo is 100 naira. So if you buy a cam gas of 8,000, for example, and you buy our own, we have a smaller version for that cam gas, it sells at 12,000 naira. Now, within one month, you've recovered your cost using our product, because a cam gas, if you use, let's say five kilo for a month, that's 2,500. But if you are using our own pellet, you are spending 500 naira in a month. So they, they save money while they use our product. So that's not your question. Um, what's the cost for you to build this cab gas thing? Okay, the stove. Yeah. Um, we have a forty percent margin, so we. I we mean, how we much does it cost you to? To build it. Yeah. Um, between twelve thirteen thousand. So if you if 
it's 12 to 13,000, yes. you're selling at 18,000. 18, yes. So your profit is about 5,000. About 4,000. 4,000. Yes. So what's the life cycle for the current stoves that you're trying to replace? Because I'd imagine most of the people who would buy this are already have a normal stove and they're not very concerned with the safety of it. Okay, thank you, sir. Um, what we did was we used stainless steel, the best grade of stainless steel, so that this stove, you can... You well, can for the current stoves, like, um, for example, how long are they going to use it before they need a new one? A new one, yeah, that's what I want to explain. The, the stove have a lifespan of minimum of five years. But it's stainless steel, it can stay 10 years, but we want to give a conservative guarantee of five years. So in five years, you are sure of using this stove. You know, it, it serves you the way you will promise you it will serve you. So for the other mm -hmm. stove that is in market, the kerosene stove, at two years, you'll be asking of replacement. Because they don't use stainless steel, they use mine steel and they coat it. So because they coat it, if you cook, most of our foods are salty in nature. So once salt drops on the metal, it's corrosion takes place. But if salt drops on stainless, you can wipe it off and nothing happens. So our one lasts longer and it serves you better. Um, remind me again, how, much, how many people have you sold this to already? Uh, we have 1,003 as at last week. How long can it burn for? Oh, we sell in, in kilo. Okay. Now, for a family of four, if they buy a kilo and they cook, you know, how Nigerian family does it, most weekends they do a lot of cooking. So let's factor it in. A kilo will serve you for one week for a family of four. It's 100 naira. And because we are getting it from waste, we are recycling it. That's why it's that affordable. Tell us a little bit more about the team. The team, yeah. okay. The team, I myself, I'm the founder. Uh, my background is physics electronics. The our CTO is a co-founder also. He is a graduate of physics electronics. He's the one that builds the circuit, the battery, and etc. the designs. Then the next person is in charge, the CEO is in charge of the metal works, all the fabrications. He's, he's good with arc welding and all the calibrations. He's the one that is in charge of it. Then we we'll have another person in our team who handles marketing and finance. So she is coming from a background that she has helped a company achieve 50 million naira in sales within one year. So that is the experience she is bringing. Um, when you say that um, the cost price for this particular um, device is um, 14,000. Is that, have you factored the cost of distribution? Have you factored all the other unit economic costs? 40,000, of, of, of getting this to the end user? The cost price? Yes, you said the cost price of the, of the stove is um, 14,000. 14,000, yes. 14,000, yes. Yes, 14. is, Have you, f we, in, in that 14,000, have you factored the cost of distribution and the cost of getting this to the, cost, to the end user? Is that all within the 14,000? Yes. Okay. Thank you.